hello! I'm trying this new vlogging thing. I've never done it before and I have no idea what I'm doing so please forgive me if I'm bad at it. Hopefully I'll do it more and I'll get used to it and I'll get less bad at it. Um, so I'm going to try and videotape in different rooms and different places every time to keep things interesting. So right now we're in my room, which you've seen before. Um, so hopefully it looks somewhat similar to what you've seen. My bed, my desk, my Legos, dresser, shelves, bean bag, windows, fish. So Right now, uh, we are two weeks away from the start of the semester, which means that new freshmen have started arriving, um, international freshmen and freshmen with F-Pops. It's really weird having new people who are going to live with us, who I've never met before, who are going to live with us, who are going to be part of my random hall family. Um, really exciting. I'm really anxious. I'm really excited to meet everyone. It's really weird really exciting new people. Oh, I have other people! Um, so, next week is orientation, uh, residence exploration, um, which means that uh, Random Hall is going to have lots and lots of fun events. All the dorms are going to have lots and lots of fun events. Um, especially Random Hall, because I live here. Random Hall is awesome. Um, so, everyone is very excited about that, organizing Rex. Um, what else? My roommate arrived, at least my temporary roommate. I don't know if she's going to stay with me. Freshmen get to choose their rooms here at the end of uh, residence exploration and orientation, which is two weeks from now. So if she still likes living here two weeks from now, maybe she'll stay. So you see that door back there? There's a person behind that door. Oh my god. <laughs> It's crazy. It's crazy. The most bizarre part is that I, I meet freshmen and I meet their moms and they're like, we read your blog. And I'm like, oh my god. People read my blog. Actual people are reading the stuff I write. And that's, that's both exhilarating and makes me very self-conscious, but it's mostly very exhilarating and makes me very happy. Um, so you guys should comment. It makes me very excited when people interact with me and tell me that they actually read the things I write and tell me their opinions on them, positive or negative. Very exciting. Um, so my room as you see it now is the last time you're going to see my room as it is now. Um, that sentence made no sense. Uh, a friend of mine, Amy, is uh, moving into a new room and she uh, is getting rid of the loft in that room so she can move the loft from her old room up to her new room so that the person moving into her new room, her old room, can build their own loft for that new room. Um, so Amy's giving me her loft, which is really sweet of her. Um, and I'm very excited because I've always kind of wanted a loft. Uh, I'm also very nervous because I'm really scared of life changes especially really small, insignificant ones. Like, I've wanted to dye my hair since I was 11, so then I decided to finally dye my hair green. And um, then uh, I even got a friend at random to buy me green hair dye, and we even planned out a day to do it and everything, and then, and then I chickened out because I was scared of changing my hair. Because, you know, hair. It's attached to me. So I'm also having the same feelings about changing my room. So right there, there's going to be a loft. I'm going to make myself a little man cave. Only it won't be a man cave because I'm not a man. Um, so the loft is currently in a sad, sad, sad state in the hallway. That's the loft. So sometime soon, it will no longer be in the hallway and will be in my room. And my room will look totally different, which is exciting.
exciting and scary. Um, at least for me. So, let's see. What else is going on? Um, Amy actually recently, the Amy, my friend who is giving me the loft, recently dyed her hair purple. So, uh, I'm going to try and embed a video now into this other video. There's a video in the video. Also very exciting. So here is a video of Amy getting her hair dyed purple by Molly, whose hair is also dyed purple. Very exciting. Already a thing with this hair. This summer has been very awesome. Uh, I've been working in the same lab I've been working in, uh, the Page Lab. Um, and I can't actually tell you what I'm working on because I signed a non-disclosure agreement. Um, and it's super secret. Uh, and if it works out, then I can tell you about it, all about it later, if it gets published. Uh, not likely, but you know. Um, so I've also been um, going camping with my family every other weekend. Uh, my family lives in Pennsylvania, so usually what happens is I take a bus, uh, either Megabus or Bolt Bus or uh, Greyhound to New York, and then I take a bus from there to somewhere in Pennsylvania, um, and they meanwhile drive to that someplace in Pennsylvania and they meet with me and we go camping. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, most recently we went uh, camping, uh, I can't remember what it's called right now, but um, there was a hiking trail called Shades of Death, which was very exciting because it's Shades of Death and that's a very eerie name and I think a pretty horrible name for anything, be it a novel or a movie or a hiking trail. Um, so there were many different shades of death along this trail. There were actual literal shades, like shade in the forest under the trees. There were uh, rocky cliffs leading down to waterfalls. Uh, there were shoes that children lost, and uh, finally at the end there were bees, uh, which happened right after my mom said, hey guys, I think it's time for lunch, we should go, and we said no. So you should always listen to your mom, or there will be bees, and it will really hurt, because you'll get stung by bees. Um, so. Most recently, I actually spent the, mo the past week in Israel uh, visiting my uh, grandparents, my maternal grandparents, who are there uh, because my grandfather is being treated in Israel. Um, so that was really great. It went so much better than we expected. We expected to be sitting in the hospital the whole week, but they let us out of the hospital. And my grandfather is doing uh, pretty much as good as possibly can be expected, way better. Um, so, we actually went to Israel last summer as well. Last summer we went for three weeks and it was entirely, almost entirely for tourism. And we went everywhere. Well, not everywhere. You can't possibly go everywhere. Um, but this uh, summer was only one week and we didn't go uh, that many places. But we did get to go to uh, Jerusalem for a day and we spent um, an evening in a museum in Tel Aviv. So hopefully I will be blogging about that sometime soon. Also, we'll hopefully be blogging about uh, orientation and some more fun stuff about random. I would like to do a blog post about the ceiling tiles and the murals here. Probably shouldn't be giving you a preview because what if it never happens? But <laughs> that's hopefully what's going to happen. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, right. So. Uh, since most people haven't been to Israel, 
um, I decided to include some shots of just what it looks like in Israel. Also, some stray cats. There are a lot of stray cats in Israel, and apparently they can't be domesticated. Um, you, uh, we have family friends who tried to domesticate them, and they didn't take. Um, they were very wild. So these cats are pretty bizarre to me, because I'm used to... So I live in Random Hall, and we have cats on the second floor, and they're all extremely friendly. They're obsessively friendly. They follow you, and they play with you in the most adorable ways, and it's just great stress relief if you're doing a piece set and just go down to the second floor and play with a cat for an hour or two, or three, or four. Um, <laughs> so the cats in Israel are a bit bizarre to me because they're not as friendly in comparison um, they kind of just stare at you very, very meaningfully and then run away. Um, there's one outside of the hospital that actually followed us. We didn't even try to provoke it or anything, it just followed us for about 15 minutes and that was very pleasant and friendly and nice. And then it got distracted by something in the parking lot, and I don't blame it because there are lots of interesting things in the parking lot. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I don't know. What else is there to say? All right, the semester's starting in two weeks. I don't know if I'm ready for this. <laughs> I've kind of, every semester, I think, oh man, before it was just a warm up. This is going to be awesome this semester. I'm going to maintain a good sleep schedule. I'm going to feed myself like a normal human being. I'm going to get all my P-sets done ahead of time. And um, I'm going to get straight A's. And uh, I'm going to socialize with everyone at MIT. Um, and then, then it, yeah, then reality happens. So, um, I don't know. I've been studying a bit. There's a stack of papers back there on my mini fridge that has been some of my studying. I've been making my way through that slowly. Probably I'm not going to concern there's only two weeks left. Then next to that you can see black can of paint with which I have been um, making small inch tall cows appear in strange places around Random Hall. Um, I have this plot um, so, when people say plot, it's a reference to LARPing, uh, live-action role-playing games. A lot of people in random are heavily involved in live-action role-playing games through a club called the Assassin's Guild. And um, in these games, you are, assigned, you are assigned a character, and this character has plots. And you get through these plots to reach the character's goals. Uh, so... Uh, a lot of people who are heavily involved in this activity uh, often start applying these terms to real life and might say that they have a plot, like they might have a love plot if they uh, are dealing with things in their romantic lives or they might have some plot in their academics or some plot somewhere. Um, so I, I don't do uh, live action role playing that much except for live action mafia. Um, which I do constantly, and I'm currently uh, in a live-action Mafia game. Um, and I'm not dead yet. And I'm totally not Mafia or anything. No, I'm, I'm actually not Mafia. I... Anyway, um, so, um, 
but I hang out with a lot of people who do use these terms and play these games a lot. So uh, when I say I have a plot, I mean that I have I I'm playing my character that I am in real life character, and that I am going for certain goals, um, and the plot is to achieve those goals. So I have a uh, small plot of um, invading Random Hall with cows, small cows, um, about an inch tall. Um, so, so far I have a cow mural outside of my room where I have flying cows flying past the moon um, and below it there's the skyline of ca uh, the Cambridge side of the Charles River, the MIT side of the Charles River and then a mountain and a crack in the earth and it's just implying that MIT is near this magical land and we can fly to it. It's wonderful. And then on the opposite side, I'm planning on painting a mural that's going to have the Boston side of the skyline from the uh, brass rat. Oh, I didn't mention the skylines are from the brass rat. Um, <laughs> so like the brass rat, it's instead of being black on white, it's going to be white on black, and I'm going to have more cows flying about, and then what I really want to do is have these cows invade all over. So the cows, my room is right next to the back stairwell, so I'm going to have the uh, cows going um, up the back stairwell to the floor above, and down this black back stairwell to the floor below. The floor below is black hole, so I might have some of them disappearing into a black hole and noodling about and I might have some going up to Pecker very morosely and um, there's uh, Pecker is uh, home to a uh, club called Mitt Beef so beef is made of cows and I was thinking the cows could disappear into a building kind of like MIT walking into it very sad looking heads hung down um, into the building that looks like the Great Dome and then driving out of it will be a truck called Mitt Beef which is kind of gruesome and sad and is representative of our devastating struggles here or something um, and anyway I want to have them appearing in other places around Random Hall as well so I've been painting them slowly one by one in unexpected places. So I've got some that can fly and some that can't fly. And the ones that can fly have to carry the ones that can't fly about and sometimes they leave them in places where they can't get down which is very sad. So I've got some cows without wings looking down very sad. I'm very mean. I'm a horrible person. <laughs> but anyway, um, I can show you the mural of the cows as it is right now. The one outside of my room. We've got the moon, and I don't know if you can see it, there's a mountain, there's clouds, there's a crack in the earth, and then there's the Cambridge skyline, which is currently blocked in part by my huge dismantled new loft. I'm also hoping to paint uh, part of the kitchen purple, the area behind the sink. So I'll tell you about that when that happens. Um, yeah, so that's all for now. Uh, I'm hoping to do this at least once every two weeks um, to try and add something in addition to writing. I think I'm a very different person when I write, which is okay. Um, it might even be more me than me talking because I... I'm not very good at talking. Um, <laughs> of course, the real me is very good at things or something. Um, so please tell me if you like this, if you don't like this, what you would like random video footage of. Again, I'm going to try to shoot in various different locations like the kitchen or the roof deck or the lab I work in or Stata. Um, this is probably going to get a lot more interesting when the semester starts. Um, you're gonna get a probably get a lot of videos of um, oh look I printed out all my piece sets and they make a big stack <laughs> and um, here are my progress bars I make progress bars in Excel 
to show myself how far along I am with my P sets, I'll be very happy to show those to you. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll have video footage of orientation and recs, uh, some of the stuff going on in random. Uh, so that will be very exciting. It's always very exciting. All right. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Nobody blah 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 blah